Wizard 101 and Pirate 101 are two games that came out over 10 years ago and are still bringing in more people. Their combat systems, stories, and mating friends old and new bring people back to make their first characters. But sometimes we take breaks. Sometimes life catches up with us. School, work, or rebuilding the spiral with Minecraft. I often found myself returning to the games a few years ago when I created the Spiral Project. I fell in love with the games all over again. I think the biggest question is, how do you get back into the games after taking an extended break? I, of course, have my opinion, but I think it'd be better if you hear it from some of the members of our staff team. The name's Kai from Power 101. And I'm here to tell you how to get back into the game after like several months or even years of not playing Pirate 101. Why aren't you playing Pirate 101? You should be playing Pirate 101. Anyways, I'd say just make a new character. Take it slow, read the dialogue, listen to all the characters speak, talk, and really take in the atmosphere around you. And you will eventually find yourself being enamored with the story and the characters that are with you. Thank you. It's been years since I've truly picked up this game as I once did in my middle school, high school years. As a veteran player, I've always found myself veering away and coming back. One of the hardest things to come back to is an empty friends list. After being away for so long, it's hard to connect with people, especially when you no longer know the ins and outs of the game. One of the best ways to reconnect is to put yourself out there. I joined up a few community discords and met some amazing people. It truly really helped me gain back the sense of community. I look forward to seeing everyone in game and it keeps me coming back. My passion for great stories always has me coming back for more, such as when I stopped Malastare and saved the spiral, or when I united the bears and wolves and stopped the Everwinter. Stories have always been a big part of my life and being able to experience it with my friends is the best thing I could ever ask for. The thing that brought me back to Wizard 101 was that in 2020, I had lost a pregnancy. And because of that, I was bedridden for about four weeks. And I wanted some nostalgia. So I went back to Wiz. And at that point in my life, it was the only thing that really got me through that dark time. So thank you, King's Isle. So I've been playing Wizard 101 since 2011. And since it's been 13 years and life has gone on, I've taken a few breaks from Wizard 101. But recently I've come back to the game and my advice is to just take it slow. You don't have to be a master in 10 days. So, and also, if you're struggling, find a place where you can get help when you need it. As you can see, all these people have their own reasons for returning to the games. My personal opinion, make a new character. Go in completely blind. Don't expect anything. Immerse yourself in the magic that once drew you to the games. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope this gives you a few good ideas and opinions on how to get back into the games. And until next time, We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.